There are two ways to add motion blur to your renders in Redshift. The first is to navigate to the Redshift render settings, scroll down to the motion blur tab, and hit enable. In order to check if the motion blur is working correctly, you'll want to render a frame to the picture viewer. You should see motion blur now on your moving objects in your scene. The second way that you can add motion blur to your renders is to open up the Redshift AOV manager and add a motion vectors AOV to the AOVs list. Next, you'll want to add a Redshift object tag to your moving object, select the Motion Blur tab, and enable motion vectors. You'll want to export a multi-pass sequence with your Beauty Pass and Motion Vector AOV Pass, and import the two of these into After Effects. Once you've imported your multi-pass renders into After Effects, drop your Beauty Pass and Motion Vectors Pass into a comp. Select your Beauty Pass and go to the Effects menu, select Revision Plugins, and apply the RSMB Pro Vectors effect. Select your Motion Vectors Pass and pre-comp it. Select your Beauty Pass and go to the RSMB Pro Vectors effect and point the Motion Vectors option to the Motion Vectors pre-comp you've created. You can use the Vector Scale X and Vector Scale Y options to change the angle of your motion blur. Adjust the blur amount and max display settings until you find a look that you like. You might notice that the edges of your motion blur are rather sharp and we're going to want to clean that up. So we're going to go into our motion vectors pre-comp and we're going to apply a fast box blur to the motion vectors layer. Add just a subtle amount of blur, something that will smooth the edges of the motion vector pass. When you go back to your main comp, you'll notice that the edges of the motion blur are now smooth. So that was two quick and easy ways to add motion blur to your renders in Redshift. If this was helpful, throw me a like, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.